Hello guys, my name is Eric Van Ghetto Headset, and welcome back to the forest of heavy rain showers with a chance of fog. So in the last episode, the manager was really creeping us out, and it was nighttime, and he was chasing us around with a fake sword just to scare us, just for the hell of it. And he told us he doesn't want us to stay here because there's a big secret, and obviously there's a big secret that the father and mother kept from her... Uh, Jesus, the whole weekend I was gone, I gotta check her name again. From Shiori Kanzaki Shiori, yes. From her, the manager Suga was keeping big secrets. And he's a mute. He can't talk. Right, he can't talk. So let's go uncover these mysteries, shall we? Okay, so we ran into her again. Um, she says, <laughs> Oh, Renee-san! Um, what are we gonna say? Feeling fine? What do you always do here about, let's just say feeling fine, because we're nice people. We're nice, so let's just ask her how she's doing. I'm quite fine, but Onesan, are you alright spending your time every day in a place like this? Uh, well, I don't really have much to live for and it's summertime, so... Yes, I feel quite alright. I keep on forgetting that I didn't make the main character's voice really weird, even though I usually do. Ah, oh, yes, it is that kind of feeling. For you, Onesan, that's... nothing. There's nothing that's better not to worry about. What? There's nothing that's better not to... okay. <laughs> Was that a double negative? I'm not entirely sure. What do you always do here? Nothing in particular. I just sometimes read a book that catches my attention and sleep. That sounds good. I kind of like that. Lifestyle. This place is quiet and the unpleasant kids from school don't come near here, so it's quite relaxed. Oh, that's cool. Well, yeah, I doubt anybody comes here. Because if they do the Okabake, Obake, or Okabe. Shit, I forget. Obake. Let's call the Obake. The Obake is here. And I bet it's still here. He's quite a meddlesome, carefree, kind, and thick-headed pusher. Do you really not like him that much? He's somewhat dislikable. He's not from this village originally, so he brings a different atmosphere. In fact, I can't understand his atmosphere, because he's an old man. Okay, so that's the police officer. I see, for a middle schooler, Mochizuki is an old man. Oh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Oh, okay, so I guess she's in middle school, and we're a lot older than her. Besides, before this, it wasn't noisy in patrol cars, really. Whatever, there's like one dude here. Oh god, I did the same dialogue option. No, I did it again! Okay, stop pushing so many buttons. About the manager. Like a black telephone pole, he's quite a gloomy, serious, fast, and a little strange person. Perhaps he's been here since old times. It also seems like he didn't talk at all back then either. Surely not different in age from you, Onesan. Perhaps I wonder if he actually can talk and he just writes on memos because he's a weirdo. Though in the first place, people of the village don't really come here much. Because the manager is like that, even less would come here. Certainly, if that's a fake sword, it's a little... Speak! Of which, I've always thought that the manager was someone who belonged to this home. But that was actually you, wasn't it, san That was. Well, your information wasn't that great. You just basically complained about the people here. Jeez. Let's talk to the manager, whose name is Suga, by the way. And I'm not sure if I know that from the previous episode, but when I was looking for a thumbnail, I saw it all over the internet. It's like, Suga, Suga, Suga! Because... Everyone loves Suga for some reason. In rain, going out is X. X, X. Chicka, chicka, bow, wow, wild and wet, Shiori. Mmm. Yes. Your investigation, how is it? Oh, he's a, it's, he seems like a caring dude, actually. Just a little creepy. Uh, um, just a little more. There's still stuff I want to know about father and mother. Quickly finish it, go back. Hey, don't be rude, okay? When I go back, you're not gonna have any company, and you're gonna miss me so much. He's totally gonna miss me. Can I just please go in there? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, I guess that's his room. Oops. But I was in there one time, and I looked in the drawer, and I saw your panties. Mm. I guess it would be called underwear, not panties. Well, goddammit. I'm just so used to it because you call everything panties here in Korea. I'm used to calling my underwear panties. Suga held out some keys. These are... Spare keys, use as you wish. Is that alright? <laughs> He's like, do I really have to write out yes for you? Just fucking, just, just go and use them. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> God, he's like, my arm hurts. I gotta write all this shit all the time. Just, God, making me work so hard. <laughs> So hard. Okay, let's use these keys. I bet the keys are for the room that was previously locked up here. I wonder if I can read any of these books now. Come on, let me read these books. Line mystery novels, popular literature corner. Well, at least they have descriptions now. History books containing Azakawa villages have been put here. Reference corner. Nothing. Specialist and old corner, not the real ones. Reproductions. Well, isn't there anything useful here that I can read? Children's books lined with picture books lined with comic. What? What the? Why with Kamishibaya? 
I have no idea what that is. Kamishibai. Okay, is this... Yes! This is the only room we haven't been into. Worn out toys. Somehow they feel nostalgic. Oh, is this like the kids' room? The playroom that the father was at? Used the father and mother? On top of a tall stand is a bottle with something shining bluish-white inside. Okay, well, I don't... That looks really interesting. We should inspect that further, shouldn't we? Worn out toys. Somehow they feel nostalgic. Oh, so this is actually, this was our room. This was Shiori's room while she was here. And the mother and father's room. I don't know if we've ever been in yet. I was thinking too far back. I was like, must be way back, but no, it's not. Do not go into, let's read the picture book. Do not go into the forest. Do not go into the forest. Because the Kotori Obake, it was the Obake. I was right. Likes children. If you go into the forest alone, you will be eaten. Even if you are not alone and end up making a promise with the Kotori Obake, you and your friends will then have to do sad, painful things. Okay, we're gonna have some choices, aren't we? Don't ever think that monsters don't exist. No matter how much adults say that it doesn't exist, if you are a child, you will be eaten by the Kotari Obake! Sorry, I was trying to wrap it, but it was real, I was doing a horrible job. It's because I don't have a beat. So you must absolutely never go into the forest. Oh, that is the Obake! He will take, or she will take you by the something. Author, uh, illustrator Suga, <laughs> which is the manager. I gotta turn my AC off. It's making all kinds of blowy noises, and I forgot that Mike will be going into the microphone. God damn it! Books for children have been put here. Well, let's go talk to Suga. Sugi, you creepy SOB for writing that. Can't believe... And it looks like he drew that as a child, too. Unless he's just really crappy at drawing. Okay, Suga, tell me more about that. No, you don't? Fine. Fine, be that way. Give me the cold shoulder. And maybe it's because I said talk. He doesn't want to talk to me. He's like, <laughs> you said talk and I'm amused. It's so mean. Okay, let's open it with the key. Holy shiny objects galore. History of disappearance. Read it. In Prefecture, Azakawa Village was an old settlement. It was isolated in the mountains, so it was not convenient coming to this village, and there were few who came back and forth from there. There was very little farming, and produce was provided by the village management. Furthermore, there are traces of trade in crystals in the past, but due to the reduction of crystals, mining is not performed nowadays. Alright. So I wondered, there was probably special crystals. These crystals were used as protective charms since old times, and were mainly accessories given to children. So the blue shining light is one of these, I bet, in the room. Furthermore, there are many mysterious legends concerning these crystals, and they are also called Stones of Forgetfulness. What? But many aspects remain a mystery like its origin. Okay, so the, the, for, that's why we forgot, because the Stone of Forgetfulness was given to us, or something. Which mainly... As I got a vision, mainly as history passed down orally. Orally. Sorry, I'm just... My mind's in the gutter, always. Has been on a course of losing its oral traditions. Oral traditions. And history is, as each generation passes. That was childish of me. Forgive me. Azakawa Village, Ogami-san. In Prefecture, Azakawa Village, it is said from old times there was a popular spiritual dealer called Ogami-san. Concerning Ogami-san, only a tiny amount of writing has been confirmed. The existence of Ogami-san can be seen in all parts of the country, but in this village, those who are called that seem to mainly perform prayers. Ogami-san was the one who protected from the Obake the first time. Just in this village, only if we remember, only a human who satisfies the origin restrictive condition is acknowledged as Ogami-san. Those who become Ogami-san are adults, but the, and the amount of maturation of this person has a tendency to be hidden. Oh, I wonder, we're probably going to become the next Ogami-san. That is cool. I'm, it's foreshadowing. It's got to be. Nowadays, the political power of the Ogami-san is small compared to in the past, and it's said that their disappearance is only a matter of time. Furthermore, the village management denies the existence of the Ogami-san. Opposition can be seen between those who work to improve the village's image and elderly who look at it with unease. Okay. Azkawa Village Incidents and Stories. In Azkawa Village, they are mainly passed on through oral tradition. There are a few writings that, okay, yes, and sometimes they disappear. Among them, one that has strongly re uh, remained is the tale of the Kotari Obake, and just as a precaution, has finally been recorded in writing in recent years. Why is it that only this has remained in writing? Is because of incidents that occurred in the past in Azkawa Village. It is said to be because they want us to be careful. Thank you, guys. It is said to be because Azakawa Village, these instances are ones of children frequently disappearing in the past. Azakawa Village is a settlement surrounded by mountains on all sides, and the disappearance of children are also due to the mountainous region. The children who disappeared almost never returned to the village, and when they were found, were only found as corpses. Okay, as corpses, that's so sad, they were found as corpses. You could just said dead. Corpses just sound so bad. As it occurred quite frequently in the past, going into one part of the mountainous region is now forbidden from anyone to enter. We're gonna go there! However, in recent years, due to the development of the village, there have recently been voices raised questioning the village that made entry into the mountainous region forbidden. Okay, onwards, up into this room we go. There's a diary, X year, X month, X day. Our cute grandchild, quickly, grow in good health. Even if you can't see it, we love you. That's us, oh my god. I'm us, I mean Shiori, but I am with her. I'm like her spiritual guardian, okay? <laughs> 
My grandchildren has gotten along with that kid. That kid has also come to smile coming in contact with my grandchild. I wonder if that's like the manager then they're talking about. Because the manager's still here and we were living here. Whether this is a good thing, I wanted to have a talk about that, but we merely offered a prayer that this would surely turn out to be something good. Today is the day those kids ended up making a promise. That kid still feels up to becoming a victim. There is nothing we can say. Although, however, our prayers have come to an end. That kid still feels up to becoming a victim. What happened to him? <gasps> I want to see more. No, you're too fast. My head hurts. It might be about time that I should go back down now. Okay, well, we've collected enough information. Let's go back down. That's quite worrisome, even if that's so. I can't just allow this village to degenerate more than this. Question mark? A person from the village, however. He's quite an unpleasant government official. Okay, so there are a lot more people here. I was like, this place is pretty dead. These are like some of the only people here. Honestly, you see, there are no visitors to this place, right? I think there's no meaning to keep this here. Oh, old man. Don't die of a heart attack, tubby. In order to develop this village, we need to clear up the mountain. The existence of this museum poses a little problem for that. The past is different from now. There have been no children going missing in recent years, so don't you think it's behind the times to be bound by the old? This Kotari Obake and Ogami-san reek of being bogus tales. They're real! What? It's because you're like that that people don't come close to this place. Really? Just because of him? I don't think so. I think he has a good head on your shoulders and you don't, Mr. Government Official. Mr. Old Chubby Guy that's gonna have a heart attack. What, a memo, huh? Really, since it's like that one talking with you. You don't seem very accommodating to our negotiations, but in the village council, we just made a resolution to demolish this place. This is no place to spread around something unscientific. It makes things seem too creepy, so even if you can't find a next job, I don't know. Well, there's a bigger problem for you than that, right? Okay, well, this guy's just laying down. He's laying down into Mr. Suga. You, aren't you the young lady from Sakuma-san's place? You can't just do that, coming in here and staying around like that. So, Sakuma-san would also support this proposal, too. Go die, you raccoon-like old man! Ah, oh, she called him an old man, too. But then again, I think she called the police officer an old man. He's not really old. What is that? What a rude girl. This time, I'll tell a complaint to that family. And you know what? The way the Asian culture is, is that would be, like, a big deal. It's like, oh, like, when someone in the community lashes out, and they get sh they'll get shunned by the whole community. But I think you're the one that's being rude. What, you? A face I've never seen before. I was the owner of this museum. I am the grandchild of Kanzaki Keiichiro. Grandchild? A relative of Kanzaki? Yes, I am. As long as I am a relative, I have the say on the rights to this museum, so please don't just say whatever you please. A young girl like you is the inheritor? Ha ha ha! Please give it up. From what I see, you're a city kid, right? Please give this estate to the village. It is beyond your powers. Of course, there is some outlook on a purchase. Please leave. Get the fuck out of here! That's right! Really now? Because of this? What kind of Why do you mean coward? <laughs> what? Things like that annoying legend is just crap! And for you to not understand that, I'll be leaving for today. You're gonna be the first one to die! I probably said that about a few other people, didn't I? <laughs> but who's keeping track? I'm sorry for just saying things on my own. It wasn't my true intention, so don't worry, Suga-san. However, like Sakuma-chan, I must somehow got really angry. Okay. Handshake us. He's like, you are so cool. That's what he wants to say. You're so cool. I want to be like you. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> yes, don't worry. Aww. Dinner, shall we? Oh, They're gonna have a romantic relationship, aren't they? Yes, let's eat. I bet they're gonna be the cutest little couple, a little mute, and a city girl coming together to solve the mystery of Azakawa Village. Of course they're gonna get close together. Suga-san's cooking had the taste of ashes, but I was able to eat everything. Next time I'll make something for him. The taste of ashes. He burns everything he touches. You can see there's a little, like, burn mark right up there above the cooking area. That's right, the plate. Oh, this is intense. This is some dish-cleaning simulator shit going on here. Thanks for the good meal! That's how you say it in Korean. Why is it that this feels so nostalgic? It's because you guys made a promise together, and he remembers, but you don't. Probably. Ah, it's nothing. No, I'm um, just that for Suga-san, too. 
Oh, just don't touch my hand. Oh, just, oh no, just, oh, no, I, no. Oh, okay. My mind is just, I'm sorry, guys. It's in the gutter again. It always is, but that's why you love me, right? Sugakun, are you there? It's me, Mochizuki. Officer Mochizuki? Well, what's going on, Mochizuki? Please open. Is Sakuma there? Sakuma, she left. I ate all alone. And so Sakuma has still not come home, it seems. It looks like the rain will continue this evening, and like this, it would of course be quite dangerous. See, it is the forest of heavy rain. I knew it. But that's right, she did once go outside of here. Sugakun, excuse me, but we would like to search around it in the mansion, so could you lend me the keys? We didn't kidnap her. Oh, well, he doesn't think we kidnapped her. He thinks she's probably hiding somewhere in here. That makes sense. Sorry about this. If it would be okay with you guys, I'd like for you all to also help. I doubt she's in here. She's probably outside. Seriously. If anything happens, report it to me. Dun, 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 dun. I'll also need to search. Don't do anything. Oh, he's worried about us. That's why. No, I'll search because I'm worried. In your face. You can't. But you can't expect me to do that. Your meal was delicious, sir, but you can't boss me around. I'm the owner, remember? Remember that. Then don't go in the forest. No promises! Mm, I think I can do that. I think I can. No promises! A protective charm. Obtain necklace. This is the necklace from that day. Speaking of which, the night glowstone is a protective charm in this village, isn't it? Thank you. Alright, so we got a protective charm, which I hear is our health, actually. Okay, whoa, I just came in this room and, like, some cutscene thing. <gasps> what? 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 Whoa, 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 what the, what the twat? Holy shit, I don't want to go. Okay, fuck it. Face your fears, Eric. Face your fears. Face them. Nothing, okay? You gotta search this shit. Okay, I didn't want to read you. Okay, well, there's the officer. Let's go back into here. This was like our grandfather's room, wasn't it? Remember the promise. Remember the promise? I don't, but we will, I'm sure. What about this room? Anything exciting, not you again. You twin personality, whatever you are. No escape. What? Oh, that was just lightning. Okay. A power outage. Oh, God, no. This isn't looking good. Where's my lamp? Light. The I don't have the lamp. Oh, God. I want, I want my lamp back. Where should I go, then? I checked all these other rooms. I don't like where this is leading, guys. Oh god, there's fucking blood there! What the fuck is the blood? Oh, should I even go in here? That's a bad sign, isn't it? But I gotta inspect it, because I'm like a moth drawn to the flame. What?! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Come. Fulfill your promise. I am waiting with the child oh no they captured her I, I can't believe I forgot her name already but the, the, the middle school girl oh god well I'm sorry guys this shit just got really intense really fast uh, but this episode's gone long enough I gotta end it here in the next episode we're gonna go save that child and I'm gonna go remember her name or the I just don't remember names very well. I'm the kind of guy that forgets a name after someone introduces themselves to me. Even though that's a really bad quality and I should really fix that. But whatever, okay? Those are just my little first world problems and I don't want to push them on you. Well, I hope you enjoyed anyways. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. As always, peace.